Greetings, unsettled souls. As you can see, it is me, Bob, the Invisible Man. Hello there. I'm just reminding you that the correct views is usually a very serious political show. However, on Halloween, we've been known to bring out some of the craziest people you've ever seen. You might have seen me earlier on top of a roller coaster. Well, now you get to see Org Mortis. So let me step out of the way here, as you can see, trying not to step on a cord. Org Mortis is the person who works in the Human Resources Department. If you call the correct views, it is he and his cheerful voice who answers the phone. Og, are you ready? What the hell is that? That's the pumpkin that Sam called. What the hell? Where the, give me a stupid... Where, where the hell is Crystal's pumpkin? Where is it at? I don't think she cares enough about us to do it. I, I can hardly blame her. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do what I always do. I'm gonna bring my cheerful self to talk about important subjects. And I'm gonna say it in a way that makes sense to you. Now I'm warning you. I don't want you tuning up till I'm done. Because I only come around once or twice a year, and I don't take very kindly to people tuning out. And what I'm talking about today matters. I'm talking about the crybabies in the NFL. Yeah, you heard me right, a bunch of overpaid crybabies. If I had this knife, I'd put it right up. Come here. I'm just going to get to the news. These guys make ten million freaking dollars. And they're gonna walk around and tell you that they're being held down. I know a lot of people that wish they were being held down by being given ten million dollars. I can think of a whole lot of people that wish very much that people would hold them down by wearing their jerseys and by praising them. And by telling everybody how much they like them by spending money on their stupid hats and their stupid shoes. Did you see those ridiculous shoes that were worn by that idiot LeBron James, did you see? The disrespect. The man makes more money throwing a ball around than anybody in the world. And he's going to sit there and talk about being Harold Down. That's the kind of thing that makes me want to kick a kitten through a house fan. That's almost as bad as that ridiculous pumpkin. Where the hell is Crystal's pumpkin? Perhaps, or you should put down the knives. People tend to find those intimidating. I think the invisible man here... You know, you have a point, my friend. You have a point. Now, let me tell you something. It gives me a reason to just want to take heads and start cracking them when I hear about this kind of thing. Because there isn't any damn white privilege in the world. The only thing there is is the government coming down. And you know what they're doing. They're hosing us all down equally. It doesn't matter if you're black. It doesn't matter if you're white. It doesn't matter if you're just some friendly guy that answers the phone like I do. There isn't any way perfect. This is an article written by that idiot Sam who carved that ridiculous pumpkin. I had to put this hammer through his skull. Wasn't I supposed to do a show about somebody that got bitten by a black mamba? Well, yes, but it doesn't have to be that closer to Halloween. You dropped the computer on the floor. I wish Sam would get bitten by a black mamba. When news comes out about just how badly week seven of the NFL went for the conservative Daily Post, many had assumed the worst had been seen, but the league was at rock bottom, and so unless they started digging, they couldn't get any lower. Well, it appears that those in the beleaguered league have now 
showing up with shovels in hand because that's just what's happening as the sporting news reveals today. And listen to this. This is what those crybaby bastards are getting. The NFL, once the golden network of TV numbers continues to drop, as the network falls due to the kneeling, I'd like to hit them in the kneecaps with his hammer and, and they do some kneeling. They might not be doing any damn standing when they were done, or perhaps I can do some surgery. 5.1% from 15.87 million viewers during the same period last season. That's off 18.7%. 18.35 viewers have tuned out. Millions are tuning out. And numbers show that the league is taking it from both sides, just like John Holmes used to do. Colin Kaepernick. And the one who demanded to get to play again. The group of people that want to see him play again clearly don't watch the game very much because the famous kneeler was one of the biggest letdowns in league history. To put it mildly, he was terrible. You can call me on the phone on the correct views. The National Football League leadership has not forced the kneeling to stop. And already sport pundits are talking about how about how this is helping the game of baseball. Yeah, because people are tuning into baseball. Do you know why? Because they're not kneeling for some lie about white privilege. If there was white privilege, there wouldn't have been a black president elected by mostly white people. If there was white privilege, then there wouldn't be a lot of white people walking around in LeBron James t-shirts. If there was white privilege, Sam DeGangie, who runs this show, would have internet at his house, but he doesn't. He has to do all of his work at the library. And you're going to tell me about white privilege. I'll tell you about how to take a, a, a hammer to the freaking kneecap, you crybaby bastards. And that is our Mortis asking you to... What's up, friends? It's Sam I.B. the Ganji. I've given you a lot of characters. Uh, we've got um, Buddy Puff. You can look them up. I've been doing it all month. We've got Buddy Puff. we got Larry Thornback. we got Billy Bob, Joe, Jimmy John. And now you've got Arg Mortis. I need you to vote on which four, which of the four you like the best, and that's who's going to be doing Halloween for you. Good night, friends. God bless. Don't forget to vote.